Okay, today we're going to do uh, engine timing. I'm um, building this little engine. This is a little um, Toyota Corolla 1.878 FE engine. And I'm just going over the basic principle of how you set the time. What you want to do is start with top dead center. That means the number one piston is at the very top. And I use this little thing, put this little rod down in there. This is a spark plug hole. And I make sure that the cylinder is at top dead center. To do that, I take the harmonic balancer and I put it down on the crankshaft like so and I get it on the keyway and then I just turn it a little bit to uh, make sure that that cylinder is at top dead center. So we've already done that and the piston is at top dead center. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your valves are closed and uh, your timing marks on your gears are lined up. And I've marked those in white. There's two little dots that you can see right here. Right in here. These two have to line up. And when they line up, top dead center, uh, these cams control the rotor, which tells which spark plug to spark. So if we're going to go to the other end and look at the rotor, and that'll tell us where this is the exhaust cam, it's going to tell us where the rotor is pointing. Before we took uh, the engine out, we marked which wire was which. So this is number one, which goes to that first cylinder. And number one goes right down here to the rotor cap, right here. So we're going to take that rotor cap off and see where the rotor is pointing. And take the rotor cap off. You can see here's number one. And that rotor is pointing right to number one. So we know now that this engine is uh, lined up with the cams and the crank correctly synchronized. So now we can put on our timing valve. I usually start at the top and just put the timing belt on like so. And uh, we go down and we put it on the crank and we pull it around the, uh, the tensioner like so. So we just bring it down. You want to make sure it's good and tight so you don't miss any teeth. And you want to get it around your tensioner like so. And once you do that, I usually double check it. I just put the cover on real quick lightly. Line that up. I put the, uh, the cover on, and then I put the harmonic balancer on again. We've already marked our zero and uh, the notch in the harmonic balancer. We put that on, and we make sure that uh, this lines up with zero, and it does. So we're good. So I'm going to take that back off. And now we can tighten up our tensioner by first connecting the spring. And I usually just grab a screwdriver and I take the spring and I pull it over and I put it on this little, this little notch here. I'll move you and get over here. Yep. I'm going to get like right at this angle right like that. You take the spring and it holds the tensioner and I put that on this little pin they have in, sticking out of the block. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get them on, especially when you're talking at the same time. But they don't, they're not too difficult and there's a little notch and there we go. Now the timing belt is reasonably tight. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of pressure on the tensioner. And then we're going to tighten it up. So that takes a 10 millimeter, which we have right here, 10 millimeter. And you should probably have a quarter inch deflection on this. So I push on a little bit, get a little bit of tension on there. And then I start tightening it up a little bit. And I feel it, and it's good and tight, but not too tight. If you get it too tight, you'll stretch your you stretch your belt. So you just get it a little tight and then we'll torque it later with the uh, oh, it's good and tight. And that's a nice tight timing belt. And this engine is timed. We put it together now and drive it.